Hi, and welcome to the Warhammies. Today, we're going to be covering Space Marine 2. If you want to catch more 40k content, subscribe to the channel. You've all voted for what you want to see, and you want to see me run through the campaign on the hardest difficulty, so that's what you're getting. I only made it two missions into the campaign, so there's nothing to worry about with me having to restart. I just wanted to boss through to operations in PvP. And I'll be keeping a special token of how many times I failed to serve the Emperor. So, without further ado, let's get into this campaign. Yep, happy with all the settings. So we're going to be playing on the Angel of Death difficulty. I had started playing on Veteran, which was the intended difficulty. However, we'll be playing on Angel of Death, which I haven't given a go yet, so we'll see how it plays out. But here we go. Let's get into it. I won't talk during the cutscenes, just so you guys can enjoy the story with me.
So I will be playing through the campaign using a controller. Shock horror, I know. But I play through the first Space Marine on PC with controller, and I would recommend games like this. Third person shooters. Always fun to play. And sit back and relax. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. We're crushed. It's from your position. Moving to Do you have the fire Lost response? contact with brother. Damn it. Approaching orbital launcher facility. Well secure. <laughs> Poor Imperial Guard. <laughs> Hellstrut! Hot I'm oh, moving no. to the crash site. Do you read? So I have played through this mission and the next one, so I'm aware of what happens during these missions, but after that it will be a complete blind playthrough of the campaign. Oh no. Can I block? I can't even block yet. <laughs> Alright, so nice to know one hit will take off the entirety of my armor. I think I've got the special McCrag DLC uh, chainsaw equipped. So, hold RB to finish chainsaw combo with a heavy attack, and the longer the combo, the more powerful the heavy attack. Tactical approach, use heavy attacks against large groups of enemies. I'm up to my Let's go. I can't parry yet. I can't. There we go. Oh, I think I've got no indicators on this difficulty. <laughs> Just get the sound. Okay, we'll wait and wind them up. Oh, no, so you still do get the indicators. <laughs> One more. <laughs> I'm actually wondering whether my shields will naturally regenerate. Okay. Can I? Here we go. Press A to dodge any red indicators, just so you guys understand what we're going through. And then press the right stick to lock the camera onto larger enemies, such as Tyranid Warriors. Okay. So what are we going to be dealing with first? Okay, so it's a dodge. Oh, that's apparent. So I found um, a bug that you can stun lock these guys if you just shoulder barge in. <laughs> that's just the basic heavy attack. And then we get a nice execute off. I just love how like meaty and weighty they are. I'm not trying to, I'm going to have a scan around here because I don't know whether the data slates I would have collected or would have been kept. So I may have to kind of run off the beaten track. But. Boot. I do love the fact that the Imperial Guard have kind of got a great show in this as well. Like it's really nice to see because I think I, the last memory I've got of the Imperial Guard, other than. Dark Tide was like Dawn of War days for actual kind of like hordes of Imperials. They weren't really kind of sold very well in the first Space Marine. They'd be there to occasionally just die for you. Darius, brother, I will repay them tenfold. This bolter will roar in nope. your name, Darius. Dead I dark swear game. on it. Come for him. So I had a habit when I started playing this through that I was trying to like really preserve ammo being like, oh, it's definitely a melee game. Whereas in reality, you can get swarmed so quickly. Be these rotten, 
of my fangs for weeks. <sighs> Situation here at the Moche is becoming severe. Have you secured the virus bomb? No. For every port I smash, ten more come raining down. I just love how, like, pretty this game looks as well. Let's grab that, good kill. Nice and easy. Oh. There we go. Hold RB to knock back smaller enemies and mark them for a gun strike. Hold RT to perform a gun strike. And a gun strike instantly kills smaller enemies and deals significant damage to larger enemies. But what we're going to do is just thin them out. <laughs> nope. Oh, I really whiffed that one. So the only issue I have is that sometimes the gun strikes lock you into an animation. They are pretty damn cool though. Oh no, there's some waist high plants. We can't make it past. Okay, doesn't want to explode. The light one. Start waiting in. Get the gun strike off. Turn that armor. way of some Is it Ormagons or Termagons, which are the range ones? I can't remember. I don't collect Tyranids, so uh, off the top of my head, I wouldn't be able to say. Well, that said, though, I wonder how long the regen is for basic armour. I'm hoping it does regen on hard difficulties. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a very long time. We're running out of time. Kill oh, team. That. I am at the crash site. Hold far. Baron. How satisfying the bolters are in this game as well. <laughs> Baron, my brother, you have honored the Imperium with your devotion. Did I respond? If you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Headed to the orbital launcher. Is that as hard as you bite, Sinos? Come on! Endless shoulder! Hold far! No! Let's right, so do some damage now. Your death will not go unpunished. Right into that. Right, let's start wailing. What the? <laughs> Should be getting a gun strike in there. Oh, oh no, this is embarrassing, isn't it? I'm not the best at dueling, I'll be honest with that. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Now I'm dueling. There we go. Gun strike. And start the shoulder barges. It's amazing what happens if I actually hit those perfect parries. <laughs> Rather than just, uh... Yeah, dying immediately. <laughs> Easier than the last one. <laughs> the red line. Reach on that armor piece. Start oiling it. Just the amount of damage. Oh dear, I need to up my game with these warriors. <laughs> this will get easier. I'm sure the moment I get grenades. Or perhaps a better ranged weapon. <laughs> so what I need to do is just clear out the other little ones that potentially are going to There we go. Go. It's nice and quick and easy. What I need to be doing is hitting those parries rather than dodging. That's definitely my issue. There we go. That's rather embarrassing. <laughs> I died twice already. <laughs> Hellscross, are you with me? I have the bomb. Covers this log. My kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead. Slain by tyrants. I have the virus bomb. Moving to the orbital launch. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse on the tyranny position soon. I don't remember the bolt was flying this fast. Of get rid of them. Always have a look for environmental hazards when you're playing through this. It's uncanny how effective they are at cleaving tyranids. Nice and easy. Oh, strangle it. So I need to learn how to duel better <laughs> in reality. I can do the range combat absolutely fine. It is the uh, dueling which is the kind of, I think, going to be the skill difficulty with this playthrough. It's making sure that I don't panic. And it's like, I guess, like a Dark Souls kind of like mindset of like, oh, panic and rolling. And I need to avoid that. So we'll just keep on shooting. I think it's really going to be about clearing those enemies before they get to you. 
Nice. Continue love. So anything the virus is all one chance to delay the tyrannid invasion. The Can't virus will nice spread blur. through their forces. <laughs> they will adapt, but it will slow them There's down. Nice weapons. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. Nothing else matters. Not got grenades yet. No, nothing. Yet. Nope, just more ammo. Can't pick up any of that in my store. Yep. So only twice during the tutorial have I died horrifically. Okay, this is an explosive barrel there. But sometimes it might be a bit of a, um, almost like a trap to grab those parries actually dealing with enemies from range. I'm like masterfully timing those dodges on that guy. Like that, should have parried that because that would have been a nice alarm chunk restore as well. I need to just like, I think I'm brain farting every time there's like a pop up. I'm like, Ugh! a panic rather than just going, just calm down, press LB, press A. That's all I need to do. Open the gates. Shift chronometer reset. You're registered as on duty. I swear the recoil on these weapons is worse on the harder difficulty as well. I swear the recoil here, like blue on the shooting. Look at that. So much detail on the armor. So much detail. Transmitting override authorization. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The rite of safeguard must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. Just a quick one for those who don't know, thought I'd show you really quickly, um, is that you actually get your combos if you hit star for the melee weapon that you're using. So we've got a light combo, quick punch, front kick, shoulder bash, stomp, and whirl slash, which are really useful to know. And it shows you which ones are armor breaking with the little armor shatter symbol, and then just your attacks with the um, thorns of the swords. thing is we have the grenades to use up while they're here. Oh, there we go. Always look to me environmental hazards. Pick up the ammo and the grenades. So, interesting point to note here. Not a lot of people know this. Attack these. There's sometimes items inside. The 
Machine Spirit, what is the status of the orbital launcher? Hibernation. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been locked. Activate launch systems. The rite of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. A Magos will attend to you shortly. Doubtful. Can also shoot them. Not gonna use just yet. Is there not? There we go. Now we can waste him. That's one way to get rid of him. Almost like I've done this mission. <laughs> Always important to try and regen that armor when the opportunity presents itself. There we go, nice full armor regen. Now watch me die to the last turn again. <laughs>
I need to remember that you can parry, even when the symbol doesn't show. anymore. Oh, yeah. May that virus strip your flesh from your bones. Oh, dear. Dark Souls boss, he's got the late melee attacks. What? Oh, it's got a ranged attack. <laughs> that fight's actually winnable. Anyways.
the Emperor. <clears throat> the wound was fatal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. You are a Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you. Titus, accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once have you faltered. But you will never know redemption until you have faced the judgment of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and no true absolution. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. Well, that's it for today, guys. That's the first episode of Space Marine 2, which shows the prologue of Captain Titus returning to the 40k universe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of, and uh, definitely not embarrassing that I might have uh, died twice during the prologue, but it's obviously because I wasn't a Primaris Marine. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day, and happy hobbying.